In this video, we'll be learning how to navigate the Slush Pool website. So to start things off, I'm going to explain what a pool is and why we need them. We need pools because in the blockchain world, whoever solves the block the fastest gets the reward. Now unless you own one of those giant mines in Iceland, there's no way you're going to be able to mine fast enough in order to get that reward. So because of that, what people do is create pools. In pools, thousands of people work together to mine blocks. And once that block has been mined, they all split the reward. In North America, the most popular pool to join would be Slush Pool. Now once you log into the Slush Pool website, it can be a little bit confusing. If you're not sure how to sign up for Slush Pool or make a Bitcoin miner, see my last two videos which explain all that. Now before I walk you through the dashboard, there's one thing you might need to know. In Bitcoin terms, a hash rate is a unit used to measure the processing power of your device. As you can see on the top left widget of my dashboard, I'm approximately mining at 59 giga hashes per second. And if you look at the widget below that, you can see that the entire slush pool is running at approximately 107 pentahashes per second. So now that that's out of the way, I can start walking you through the rest of the dashboard. So as we've already stated, the top left widget in the dashboard states the hash rate in which you are currently mining it. On the widget below that, you can see the entire pool's hash rate, as well as the current round duration the number of active devices currently mining on slush pool, the block number, and the block difficulty. On the top right widget, it shows you all of your awarded Bitcoin that you have not yet received. It also shows you your unconfirmed Bitcoin, which is all the Bitcoin that hasn't been validated by slush pool yet. It also shows you the total amount of Bitcoin you've mined in your slush pool career, and the time since your last payout, which in my case was about two weeks and four days. On the widget below that, it shows you all of your recent rewards. Now, in the big widget on the bottom, it shows a time series graph of your hash rate from the past 12 hours. Now we've reached the workers tab. Now in the first widget here, you can see almost an exact replica of the top right widget on the dashboard. On the bottom here is a list of all our workers, if they're working currently, and their scoring hash rate. Now the top right widget is used to filter out all of your workers if you have way too many to keep track of. Now we move over to the monitoring tab. This page records every time your device goes offline or stops working. That way you can more easily fix the problem. Now we're moving over to the rewards tab. The rewards tab shows your entire rewards history. Both of these widgets here are basically the same things that we find on our dashboard, but instead of recording all of the data from the last two weeks, it shows all of the data from your Bitcoin career. Now finally, we have our payouts tab. This tab shows all of your payout histories. As you can see, since I've started mining, I've only had three payouts. It shows the date you got paid out, its current status, the wallet address it's been sent to, and the amount of Bitcoin that was transferred. So that was my quick walkthrough on the Slush Pool website. Thank you for watching.